All right, guys, we're going to be um, checking out the physics of wood just real quick. The physics of wood and how wood operates. All right. I need you guys to understand, understand, overstand where this is coming from. All right. The physics of wood. All right. Wood is um like the flesh of the planet. You know, we talked about the leaves, how the leaves are designed to draw in the energy of the sun. The leaves are like a million hands. And it draws in the energy of the planet. Uh draws in the energy of the of the cosmos, of the universe. All this cosmic energy that's coming down, the leaves draw it in, and you have these roots, which are actually veins. All right, these roots are actually veins that link into, link inside the planet. All right, we're talking about the dynamics, the physics of trees, and these veins link inside the planet, and all this cosmic energy that's coming down goes into the leaves and that energy literally goes into the veins and and what you have to understand brothers and sisters is that um the energy that um comes down and goes into the veins all that darkness that's underground literally illuminates all right. All that darkness literally illuminates. So it's like a, a, a luminescent energy that, you know, you can't see because it's, it's, it's underground and the cosmic forces and cosmic energies are feeding the interior part of our planet or each uh, or better yet each realm. All right. So it's important that you understand, overstand the power of wood. All right. These inorganic beings really, you know, don't understand the complete dynamics of wood. They they really don't understand much at all. All right. So that's why we when we say even the tree that's dead is still alive because those roots are still in the ground and that tree may not have leaves on it all right that tree may not have leaves on it but that trunk is still collecting energy the trunk plays a role the trunk tells you um how powerful the tree is it tells you how the energy flows through the tree. All right. If you got a trunk that has a swirly, uh, that's swirly, that means that energy is 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 coming out of uh, uh, is swirling. All right. Just like um, the that short message that we did with the tree of life, and how you know what they call the aurora borealis, how that energy is swirling. Because that the roots of that tree is still alive. The roots of that tree is still underground. All right. These so-called white folk thought they were doing something. They hey, let me tell you something, y'all. Let me tell you something. They don't rule nothing on this planet. And I need you all to understand this. I need you all to know this. They don't rule anything on this planet. All right. They may create an illusion to make you think they are rulers, but in reality, they don't rule anything on the planet. All right. We actually have the power to rule over them. It's just that we don't link into that power. It's just that we don't seek that type of power because we're too busy 
messing with his illusions. He has to create an illusion to make you think that he's powerful. You know, that's why they have all these forums on TV. Oh, we got to create new money. We got to create this and we got to create that. And so many of our brothers and sisters are engulfed with money, not knowing that power is all around us. All right. So the tree is a very powerful resource for our realm our planet as well all right we are tree people all right we are tree people just so many of us have got a state of amnesia we have forgotten who we are we have allowed the enemy to tell us that we're black we're african-american we're color we're this and so many other brothers and sisters call themselves these titles not knowing that they have lived, they literally, every time you say, every time a, a brother or sister said that they're black, they literally deprive themselves of their ancestral heritage and, 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 and energies. We're tree beings. The trees are golden. What are we? We're golden, just like the trees. That's why we can go to the tree and the tree will heal us. I mean, it's, it's, so simple we can go to the tree and the tree will teach us the trees are extremely powerful as they literally move different energies across the planet now when our tree of life was here when that mother tree was here all the trees across the across this realm could walk and talk oh yes when that tree of life was destroyed, a lot of things froze. A lot of things sat in place. These inorganic beings found our source of power. And like we said, they showed us in the movie, um, the Ava uh, Avatar. They showed us in the movie Avatar that they destroyed our source of power with projectile weapons. This should make you angry, knowing that you have an enemy who brags about how he destroyed your source of power, who brags about how he can kill you whenever he wants to, who brags about how he can rule over you and you can't do anything about it, which means that you must be able to want to shift. You must be able to want to shift, all right? Things are happening right now on this realm, brothers and sisters, and it's and it's, it's it's extremely important. So we're just talking about the metaphysics and the physical properties. We're talking about physics. We're talking about tree physics. So trees contain an extremely high levels of contain extremely high levels of energy, extremely high levels of power trees and that's why you know like when i made that um those pyramids and i cut the 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 wood at 45 degree angles and connected them together and i put um i i took the 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 the, the quartz crystal and wrapped it around wrapped the copper around the quartz crystal and took a staple gun and stapled it onto that um those pieces and extremely high levels of energy was coming out because that wood attached itself to the ground and therefore that wood made energy available that wood all right so where does our, 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 our powers come from many of our powers. We talk about building and, and creating and structuring. Wood. Our radio technology that we had, our ancient radio technology was created either from clay or from wood. Mostly it was created from wood. So just like they have um, in Alaska, the um, harp system built with aluminum they use aluminum 
all right guys they use aluminum which an excessive amount of aluminum is like kryptonite to us all right so it will be our duty to create a system made of wood use one by twos two by twos take your copper wire but you're gonna have to make like uh, make them uh, you study the harp system study the harp system to see how is how it looks and when you put your wood in the ground you don't want to use cement you want to you want to make the hole deep enough where you can put the wood there and you can use like rocks or stones or pebbles or either or either you just take your um um the dirt that you dug up and pack it in there very 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 good you know what why not use cement cement is is, is very powerful we're gonna we're gonna discuss cement one day we're gonna have a discussion on cement and the powers of cement because cement is made from a lot of natural resources brothers and sisters cement is like organic and in a, in a sense okay so we're gonna we're gonna take a we're gonna take a a, 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 a look at at the cement and see how and see see the properties of it but right now we're just talking about the wood we're talking about the trees how they operate everything that you see that comes from the ground the grass the, the flowers everything is gathering cosmic energy and putting it into the planet all right and this is one thing that these white folk can't stop that's why it's important it's important for us to be in tuned to uh all types of of of, of ancient knowledge this is ancient knowledge you see that grass growing that grass is literally when those cosmic energies comes in that grass catches that cosmic energy and those then it, that cosmic energy come in the leaves of the trees the thorns the thist thistles all right so just want to pass that on to you guys all right hope you can um grow on this we're going to talk a little later much power to you all